Hey everyone, and welcome to our release event for X Pro Presenter. Just kidding. Is it too soon to make fun of Twitter? Anyways, we're so excited to have you here, and I can't wait to show off some of the great new features coming out with ProPresenter 7.14. My name is Alex Watson, and I'm on the support team here at Renewed Vision. I've probably even chatted with some of you at one point. If so, please leave me a good review. Before we dive in, we just want to say a big thank you. Seriously, thank you all for being a part of our awesome community. The ProPresenter Facebook group has grown over 20% in just the last year. That's thousands of new faces and voices, both looking for help and inspiration, as well as providing that help and inspiration for others. We've got a fantastic lineup of things to share, so let's get started. Peanut butter and jelly, Tom and Jerry, and Barbie and nuclear bombs? I think we can all agree that these are things that go great together. And now we can add one more to the list. When we launched Pro Content, we sought to combine world-class content with a seamless Pro Presenter integration. And now, for a limited time, when you add both to your cart, we'll waive the $99 Pro Content sign-up fee. In less than six months, we have seen over 1.7 million downloads via both our free and paid subscriptions, and we couldn't be more excited about our weekly content additions that help keep you on the cutting edge of the latest design trends. Apple has announced macOS Sonoma, and rest assured, our team is working hard on providing an updated version of ProPresenter that is compatible with the upcoming OS release. But with that, we must say goodbye to a couple of old friends. ProPresenter 7.14 will not support macOS 10.15, also known as Catalina. A future version of ProPresenter coming out later this year will no longer support macOS 11. As always, we recommend running the latest version of macOS 13 for the best experience with ProPresenter. You may be wondering, why can't you support older operating systems? Well, Apple releases major new operating systems every year, and to continue to serve you with the best we can, we run testing on the three most recent macOS versions with each of our ProPresenter releases. In case you didn't know, all macOS updates are free, and most computers purchased within the last eight years will support macOS 12 or later. So unless your computer looks something like this, in which case we'd love to know how you're running ProPresenter, you're probably good to go ahead and upgrade. But just in case, go ahead and check your own computer's OS options so you can continue using ProPresenter 7.14 and upcoming releases. Now I'm going to hand things off to James, who's going to share some big news with Pro Content. Hey everyone, I'm James Adams, the director of Pro Content. I'm actually packing for a nine day trip to New Zealand to capture content that will be appearing in Pro Content starting to be released in 2024. One thing I love so much about Pro Content is how we actually go out into some of the most beautiful and remote places in the world to provide you, our users, with what I believe to be the best content you can possibly have access to. Not only that, but we're actually releasing a ton of new worship packs, series, social graphics, and Pro Presenter themes every single week. Coming soon, we'll be releasing not just new content, but also new updates to the Pro Content website and also some new exciting updates in ProPresenter to make finding and using content even easier. We can't wait to share the content being captured from this New Zealand trip and to see how you are using Pro Content inside of your organizations. We know everyone uses ProPresenter in many different ways. And however you use ProPresenter, I believe we have some features in this release that can make ProPresenter even easier for you and your volunteers to use every day. First off today, we are introducing Capture Presets and Capture Actions, two new additions to help you streamline the capture and streaming function built into ProPresenter. Starting with Capture Presets, you can now save, name, and recall your unique capture and streaming settings to seamlessly move between your different capture and stream profiles. We can create our first preset in the Capture Settings window by clicking the Live button at the top right of the ProPresenter application window. In this window, we will see a new section where you can find the preset dropdown. This section is where we can create and modify all of our capture presets. To create a new capture preset, we will first set up what attributes we want this preset to save. Let's set up a YouTube live stream for our Sunday morning service at 11 a.m. First, I'm going to grab my stream key and stream URL from YouTube and paste those into the stream key and stream URL fields. I can also select a new custom bitrate for my stream here. Let's assign it to 4.5 megabits per second. Now we can make sure the audio is routed properly from my broadcast console into channels three and four for the stream so that I'm not overlapping my audio inputs and audio outputs. 
This allows me to play audio out of ProPresenter and also bring audio back into ProPresenter to stream. Now that this is set, I can click the drop down next to Preset and select Save As to name this preset. Since we'll be streaming to YouTube, let's go ahead and name it YouTube Stream so I can remember what this preset is for and we can apply it later. Now, anytime I need to stream to YouTube, I can simply open the Capture Settings window and select the drop down next to Preset and select YouTube Stream. Or we can simplify this for operators by changing the Capture Preset from a Capture Action. Capture Actions are a new quick way to start or stop capture sessions using actions on your slides and macros or now be triggered from a calendar event. Now that we have a capture preset created, I want our YouTube stream to start specifically when we get to this slide. What we can do is assign a capture action to a trigger at that slide. This can be assigned not only to a slide or macro, but also now as an action in the calendar. Let's say instead of on a specific slide, I just want my YouTube stream to start every Sunday at 10.55 a.m. I can now create a calendar event to trigger at 10.55 a.m. to start the stream. That way I won't ever forget to start it. Not only can I set up a stream for this upcoming Sunday, I can set this to repeat for all future Sundays. You'll notice when you assign a capture to start, you can choose an alternative capture preset or choose whatever is currently set up, whether that is saved as a preset or not. This can also be very beneficial to someone who may have a different stream destination for different events throughout their week. You can also now stop a capture session by adding a stop capture action on a slide as well. ProPresenter 7.14 has a lot of great new features for those that use ProPresenter for graphic overlays. First, we are introducing the ability to turn any output into a key channel. Previously, creating a key and fill signal required the use of a Blackmagic Decklink or Ultra Studio device, but now you can assign any display to be the key signal of another output. This will provide you the ability to have a true alpha key over graphics outputs, such as the HDMI or DisplayPort outputs of your computer. To set this up, select your output from the plus button next to audience in the screen configuration window, and then select the alpha key tab. This tab will allow you to choose another display to select as an alpha send to allow your video switcher to use this as a true downstream key. Not only does this affect graphics outputs, but this new functionality enables you to now send multiple outputs from a Decklink 8K Pro by setting each connector as in or out for maximum flexibility. This will allow you to send a 4K alpha key with two other outputs from one card. Speaking of alpha keying, ProPresenter 7.14 introduces an alternative way to set up an alpha key with other outputs. We call this configurable alpha types. This allows you to fine tune your experience by selecting how to render key and fill signals as either straight or pre-multiplied. Traditionally, ProPresenter has always output a pre-multiplied fill channel. Pre-multiplied alpha signal flows do not allow for transparency of a full range of colors and can result in muddy looking graphics, or in the case of white lyrics transition to other white lyrics, a shadow effect of the outgoing text as it transitions to the next slide. When using a straight key, the fill image always shows the full color saturation, tint, and shade of the graphic elements without any alpha channel applied. Because straight keying offers so much more flexibility, it is a far superior choice whenever possible. However, using a straight keyer may require you to make some adjustments to your video switcher if it is already optimized for a pre-multiplied key. To set up a pre-multiplied alpha or straight alpha output, you can select pre-multiplied or straight from the alpha key tab of the screen configuration window. In addition to the alpha key type configuration, ProPresenter 7.14 also allows you to specify how ProPresenter renders incoming content that contains an alpha signal. Media files and video signals can be input into ProPresenter with alpha signals and the ProPresenter render engine can adjust how it renders these signals based on whether they were pre-multiplied from the source or not. These options are also available for video inputs that include an alpha channel in the input tab of ProPresenter Preferences, and you can also choose between alpha modes for media content as well from the inspector and right-click menu. To view more in-depth guides on how alpha keying and pre-multiplied alpha work in ProPresenter, you can check out our knowledge base articles at support.renewedvision.com. Before we go, I wanna encourage you to join in on testing our public betas. 
every organization using a public beta, even in a non-production setting, helps our team gather the information and feedback needed to continue releasing strong, stable versions of ProPresenter that continue to meet your needs and expectations. If you don't already participate in using public betas, give 7.14 a try even on a personal computer and let us know your feedback by connecting with our support team, aka me. At support.renewedvision.com. We hope you enjoyed today's event and we are looking forward to sharing more about ProPresenter and Pro content throughout the year.